So far, so good. Congratulations on creating your very first Vue.js 3 application. We're now going to make a small refactor before we go on. As you can imagine, it's not very scalable to write everything inside of a single script tag. This is where ES modules come in. It's going to allow us to separate our code into different files, and that's exactly what we're going to do now. I'm going to head over to my IDE, and we're going to create a new directory, or a new file inside of the source directory. This one is going to be called index.js, and this is where we're going to keep all of our code. Let's head over to index.html and move some of this code over. First thing I'm going to do is delete everything or cut everything from the script tag, and I'm going to paste it over here inside of index.js. The next thing we're going to do is add a new template property. Let's see how that's going to work. The first thing I'm going to do is head back to index.html, and we're going to attempt to move all of this inside of our index.js file as well. I'm going to leave the div here, but we're going to move the content inside of index.js. Let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to create a new template property. So far we've seen the data property, and we're going to see one more that is going to be template. And this is where our template is going to go in the form of a string. So let's paste that one in here. Everything is going to continue working the same now, but we've managed to put both the template and the data inside of the same file. This is really convenient, and we're going to see this in much more detail as we go on using Vue's single file component feature. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this working. The final part is going to be importing the index.js file, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to add a source attribute here, and that's going to point to index.js. Let's save it off and see what happens. We can see everything is still working as expected, but we've managed to consolidate both our template and our data inside of the same file, inside of index.js. This is definitely a worthwhile refactor. As we're going to see in the next section, it's also possible to, style, to store your styling inside of here as well, and that's going to be a big improvement. We're able to keep all of our concerns in a single file, and this is one of my favorite features of Vue.js 3. Anyway, we're going to jump into the next lecture and see some more of the options you can provide. So far we've seen the template option and the data option. There's a whole lot more and I'm really excited to show you, so let's go ahead and jump in to the next lecture.